end of the road today. It's not as late as it was yesterday. You can probably tell because I'm a slight bit more talkative than I was. It's currently quarter past two. And the road, it's a big, big river crossing. So we're going from here over to there with that huge waterfall down below. One of the bigger, scary crossings on this route. So that's what we've got first thing in the morning. <laughs> Minor concern, just as we turned up, literally just around the corner, the engine cut out and then it cut out again. And then again, completely unexplained. It then started again, which is all fine. But the last thing that wants to happen is that to cut out in the middle of there. That's not why we're stopping, but slight concern. Time for bed. And then tomorrow, tackling this river. It's gonna be nice to get some good sleep again. See you in the morning. Wow, it's bright today. Gonna have some breakfast, pack up camp, take a look at this river crossing, pray to the weather gods there. Gets cloudy. Praise to the gods, it gets cloudy. Breakfast over, it's gone cloudy. I'm gonna pack up and get moving. Shooting, river crossing, flies. flies everywhere, multiple camera situation. We're gonna try and do a really good job. See you in a bit, mate. All in position, ready to go. I've got one camera here, the drones in the air, Sarah's over there. I'm gonna set this rolling and then run down to get some closer angle. That was quick, but I think that was also sick. Quick and sick. Sunny, we've come to the cabin for some lunch break, have some coffee, recharge, rest a little bit.
just coming to inspect this river because it looks a little bit dicey. Is there, this is rocks, definitely. Yeah. Cars definitely seem to be coming out here, but that's like the worst bit. for a while down this cool canyon and now I'm just running down to go stand by the waterfall and it looks epic there's the guys up there Nice. Oh, yeah. No, no. Did we charged a bit. Lovely stay at Midgard as always. And just gonna have some breakfast before we head out again for the last day in the Super Defender. make our way back and drop off the car so one of the last few spots to cap off an insane couple of days and a great way to start our adventures in Iceland. Iceland blows my mind. Just 
gonna run back now for a shot we scoped another in with uh, Sarah still on the ridge behind me where we just were and I'm gonna go and stand on this little ridge here to try and get a tele compression shot. Conditions were pretty harsh then. Hopefully there's some stuff in there, but I don't think it matters too much because this location's been stunning. Time to get back to Landy. Start heading back towards Reykjavik to Carswich and the first little adventure. What an incredible couple of days. Downsizing into our chimney. I'm inside because it's windy outside. And now we've got to try and Tetris our bags into this. I think we're gonna have to put the seat down. Yeah, this is tiny. Yeah. Ooh. Well, this is tight. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> this is cozy. <laughs> Here we are in a slightly smaller car, no longer in the big bad boy Defender, we've downsized to a tiny but mighty Jimny. <laughs> I said, it said tiny but mighty, it's like your slogan, he said it's definitely mine. <laughs> so now we've got a few days of exploring the Highlands in this awesome little 4x4 and then we're going on a very special boat trip which we're both super stoked for. So it's going to be another hectic few days of Mad scenes, little sleep, and lots of photos. Just sleep deprived mode for sure. Oh, it's a sleep deprived month. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. So. <laughs> mm. We've been driving for an hour and a bit. No, an hour and a half actually quite a long time and we're in Thingvedle National Park and the first place we've come to is Giza. Do you want to drop your Giza fact? It's not my fact. It's not your Giza fact <laughs> but it's a I fact just, you can just drop it. Um, it's where um, all the geezers got their name from. This is the first one. Yeah this is the first OG one and that's why they're all called Giza. Yeah well we probably aren't going to shoot it. No, just gonna I'm just going to go for a little walk because it's a fascinating spectacle, isn't it, really? Like yeah. it's, it's very fucking cool. We're well, a bit like the hot springs we were chilling in at La Manalurga in the last video. This is just where hot water bubbles in the ground. And uh, there's a few here that build up pressure and then erupt. And it's really cool. Just arrived at Gullfoss and I'm quite excited to see this place. I came on my very first trip to Iceland and it was one of the first spots I came to and it really blew my mind and opened like the trip off in such a good way and I'm interested to see it again and see just how impressive it is now. I feel over the time 
seen a lot more of Iceland and seen just how amazing it is. And I wonder if this still is up there as being incredible. It stopped raining too, which is nice, because it was a bit wet at Giza. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Still pretty amazing. That is a lot of water. Beautiful place. I'm just going to walk down to get a view down the lower part of Gullfoss. Sarah's gone back to the little chimney because she wasn't wearing a waterproof and it did start to rain. And just being down by the waterfall, she got soaked pretty quick. And don't want Sorry, the battery died, and this one's also dying. Oh, Sarah's gone back to the car. I'm gonna get a few more shots here, and then go and charge some GoPro batteries, I think. Okay, back at the car, battery changed, and we're about to leave Tarmac and drive into the Highlands. Heading, I don't know why I'm rubbing my head so much. I think I'm just tired. Um, to me, it's what I'm like. <laughs> and head towards Kerlingafjord, where we're going to be doing some hiking. Let's start because it's like an hour, almost two hours. just arrived at Kalingafjord and oh the lights are still on oh, it's very pretty but we now better set tent up and get some sleep so see you in the morning 